Welcome to the realm of intoxicating flavors and head-banging beer reviews. What's up, everybody? It's the Ginger Yeti, and I'm checking in from home. And what I have for you today is a beer that I liberated from the tour bus. This is one of the beers I found on the bus, and I uh, grabbed a few different beers, threw some in my suitcase, threw some in a box that I shipped home. This is one of the ones that I had shipped home. And this is the Southern Aspect from Banded Peak Brewing. If you watch my channel, you know I did another video on a Banded Peak uh, beer a few weeks ago, the uh, Plains Breaker. So this one here is, like I said, Southern Aspect. It's the India Pale Ale. Uh, Banded Peak is out of Calgary, Alberta, Canada. And I don't know how these got on the bus. I don't know if these were beers from backstage, if somebody bought them, where they came from. But I took one. So if one of you guys out there bought these, sorry, I stole one. <laughs> Anyways, um, on the can here, kind of another nature scene like the, the Plains Breaker was. This time it's got wolves and mountains on it. Pretty cool. And on the can here, it says Mosaic, Yukonot, West Coast, 473 milliliters, 7.1% alcohol, 70 IBU. It's a strong beer. On the bottom, it does have a date. Whether I can read it or not, I don't know. Uh, 1 2 24. So that's either January 2nd of 24, or that is the first day of February of 24, depending on how they decided to do their date up there in Calgary. Now, on the back here, it says crafted for adventure. There we go. Throughout the winter, southern aspects on mountainous slopes can present uncertain and variable conditions. It also leads to epic lines on bluebird bluebird days. Bluebird days for those willing to take the risk. This beer was born out of taking risks and chasing adventure. Sounds like a beer right up my alley. I assume all those things are ski references that I'd go right over my head. I don't get. Uh, I guess, I don't know, southern aspects on mountainous slopes. I don't know what that means. No idea what bluebird days are. I guess that all references skiing, which makes sense. Calgary, up there and getting there toward the mountains, up in Canada, snows a lot. That all makes sense. Checks in. Uh, keep cold, drink fresh. Contains barley. Don't drink and drive. Banded Peak Brewing gives the address. Oh, and this is the brewery that also gives you the latitude and longitude. It's... Uh, 51 degrees, 1 minute, 21.972 seconds north by 114 degrees, 3 minutes, and 4.5504 seconds west. Interesting to see they have the latitude on there. Well, I've rambled on enough about this can. Might as well open it up and see what their beer is like, see what their IPA is like. On a... Untapped, this gets a 3.76 with 4.2 thousand check-ins. On Beer Advocate, this gets an 87, very good, but there was only 14 check-ins. I poured that with a nice, vigorous head there. Not exactly what I was trying to do, but sometimes you do the hard pour on accident. I don't know what color I was expecting, but that is a nice orangey color. It looks like there's a lot of carbonation in there. Can't really see through that. I would probably give that about a 7 on my SRM chart. My beat up winemaker shop SRM chart. One of these days I'll print another one out and go get it laminated so it can uh, survive my travels. Now the head, that's an off-white orange color. Like that's actually the color if you are. Uh, if you're cooking and you use like the orange zest, you peel the... the you scrape the orange peel off, but you don't quite get down to the fruit, and you still leave the pith on the fruit. That's kind of the color you get right there. It's kind of that orange pithy color. That's what that head looks like, and that's a big pillowy head, and that's just thick looking and not dissipating at all. And I'm not going to sit around and wait for that to dissipate, so I'm going to just try to chew through this head. Cheers, everybody. Wow, I skipped right through the smell. So I'll go into that first. I don't know why I'm even trying. My nose is so stuffed up all of a sudden. 
Gotta love allergy season. But that's got a nice orangey flavor. I'm not getting anything on the nose on this one. But this has a nice orange flavor. Crisp orange flavor. Kind of a light body. And like, the flavors are subtle, but there's a nice orange flavor to it. Not picking up any carbonation at all. Don't pick up any alcohol at all. Not even really picking up a lot of hops in this. You do get some bittering, a little bit of bittering, and, and, and it's mostly after you swallow the beer, then you get some bittering on the tongue, which is kind of weird. But this is just kind of straight up orange fruity. Almost zero carbonation. 7.1% 7, 7 alcohol. Don't notice that at all. Now, I, I do have to say, this beer probably hasn't been handled the best. I mean, it's probably been sitting either in the bus or in the bus fridge for, I don't know, when we were in Canada last three weeks now. Then it got put in a box in Phoenix and was shipped from Phoenix to Ohio. So I know this beer wasn't handled the best. It wasn't always kept cold, but it's still pretty tasty. Not a lot of scent there. Maybe it's because my nose is messed up from my allergies, but this is pretty flavorful. I mean, it's a nice orange, nice orange flavor. I give this a horns up. This is a nice beer. This is a nice IPA. It's not super bitter. Like if you're scared of IPAs, this would be a good IPA to jump into. Because although you do get some bitterness on the tongue in the back end, up front, it's just almost watery, light-bodied, and orange flavor. And it's really tasty. There's not a lot of carbonation, like I said. This is just really tasty. And I'm just rambling on. So I think I'll end that there. If you've had anything from... Man, I'm a mess already. Banded Peak Brewing, let me know down below in the comments. What's your favorite IPA? Do you like these... Fruity, lighter IPAs with less bittering, or are you a big hop head like Ridgeopolis? Let me know down below. And as always, this is Crafted for Adventure. Embrace the adventure.